fire truck as well as ambulance so EMS response from them maybe they needed a ladder maybe they needed some water I don't know but I see this officer getting into their shop and backing it up maybe don't know but this is student apartments I mean just on the odds Uh, it could be anything, but I think in student apartments, it's likely that there was, so there's nobody in this vehicle next to us. Uh, and this computer screen is open. Well, let's just catch that because that's important to see. I mean, I'm not even really going to be able to see the screen itself, but you can see that it's open. So if I step out into the street, I could record the screen. But, uh, but yeah, just on the odds, based on what I know, I haven't like really studied this, but the odds are that it's a suicidal student or a medical emergency, like, like I said, like worked out too hard, uh, didn't get enough sleep, um, not eating too well, stressed out about being in a new environment, missing home, whatever whatever and just push their limits too hard but yeah it could be anything this one is also screen open uh, don't know if the screen is on can't I can almost see from this angle it actually looks like the screen is dark so in that case the screen being open doesn't really matter could be uh, that uh, privacy grating kind of stuff that you put over a screen so that you can't see it from an oblique angle so it just looks dark unless you're looking at it straight on that would be smart wouldn't it that would be a good idea to have that on those screens in particular got some interest from one of the uh, fire department dudes I think I've never seen this officer before to the best of my knowledge but I don't know if that's an AED on the on the cart there so it could have been a, a heart issue those palpitations I mentioned pop quiz does an automatic external defibrillator restart a stopped heart? Ask yourself, if someone's heart has stopped beating, do they pull that thing out, gel up the paddles, rub them together and say, clear, and then shock that heart into starting to beat again? I think it's a really safe guess that the event is over. Oh, oh, who's talking about me? Oh, just look over and grin. Just look over one at a time and grin like you know a secret that I don't. Pretty interesting. Um, but I, what I was gonna say is that, that as far as I recall, that is the first time I have seen a clearly non-white member of the Tucson Fire Department. Uh, you gotta give this officer a little bit of credit for getting into his car right near me and not making any comment about it. Pretty amazing, pretty amazing. So these guys have to debrief. They gotta stand around here for a while and talk about what happened and look around aimlessly and grin with a sort of sly look at any member of the public who's like watching or recording them because that's that's just what you do every Tucson Fire Department uh, not sure 
what their legitimate reason is for still being here with the lights on blocking the street and standing on the sidewalk talking with their hands in their pockets what does that tell you it's not that cold out right now i mean that's relative people have different tolerances every single one of them got their hands shoved right into their pockets and the little and the lip biting that's such a great oh my gosh the behavior panel would love that uh, i don't see any cameras poking out of the car right here i was just wondering if uh if this officer had decided to add to my fusion center file or not uh because boy this is fairly potentially terrorist and subversive to stand here on the sidewalk with a body-worn camera uh you know but i do believe that there's still uh, the officers are going to be here the police will stay until all the police come out i don't know why there's still one at least one member up there of the police department because there's still one car uh if the the situation isn't resolved yet i guess it must not must not be because they still have the lights on like they're not just lollygagging they're waiting for something to happen so it's not just like a false fire alarm i mean they would if it was that they would have cleared out right right wouldn't they have Still got some look at the low key lights on this unit that's sitting here just a little just a little emergency just a little flashy flashy and no lights on the other two still lights on that one because that police department member is still up in the place ah waiting for this guy to write words on paper He's giving them a citation. They're getting a parking ticket right now. And he's like, yep, you can go downtown to the courthouse. Uh, if you don't show up, we're gonna issue a warrant for your arrest. Uh, my name and badge number are there. If you have any questions, you can have your attorney contact us. catch you again doing this you're gonna be making it awfully hard on yourself but in the end we're still friends just you know keep it clean with the parking jobs stay in your lane so to speak and how's your wife Man, I saw your kids made the honor roll. It's pretty right on. Hey, I mean, we'll catch up at the picnic. But yeah, good to see you. Always a pleasure to work with you. You guys take care now. And I came over here specifically because I figured there would be at least one look back. And, uh, and there kind of has to be. Like, they just, they can't. The, the Tucson Fire Department hasn't gotten enough pushback. Like, they definitely act. Oh, we got a. When the heck did that super special car come up behind me? That's a super special. Unmarked car with a super special secret officer in it. And we got a confab in the street. How you doing, man?
All right. Well, that seemed fake friendly, so I didn't bother with any words. Just a simple nod so he would know that I wasn't like a crazed lunatic about to charge. Well, now that there's not an officer watching from behind to immediately jump out and issue some bullshit about being in the roadway, I can actually step out here like a normal person would accessing a vehicle and see that indeed the screen is on. 1023 North Tyndall, Narcan administered, it's a drug overdose. There's a friend's name and phone number right there. Caller keeps saying the PT needs an ambulance, which they apparently didn't. So Narcan, uh, it is the Urbane right there and the call number is on there and that information is not protected by the policy dictated practice of closing the screen when you leave the vehicle unattended. And gosh darn those pesky publics who dare to show that that's happening. I will issue you a citation for being a pedestrian in the roadway. We've got another, oh, do we, is there some chance? I think that's a, that's a, uh, it's another unmarked. And I think that's also TPD. Cause I was going to start to wonder if we were getting some feds involved with some drug use to handle this overdose that didn't require hospitalization that was solved by administration of Narcan, which is, the reason that I have some, is it Narcan? What do I have? Naloxone. And I'm not real clear or current on appropriate procedures for uh, administering it and appropriate indications for when to administer it. And I don't carry it around. So how useful is it? Uh, I just took it one time when I got uh, a free lunch and they were offering that as well. And I said, well, this is the kind of thing that anybody would want to have among their possessions. Because uh, I might not be real super clear on when and how to use it, but if I have it and something's going down, I can find out real quick, you know, hopefully quick enough for it to matter. And I can also just hand it to somebody who knows how to deal with it. Perhaps the OD or themselves. But I mean, it's also got instructions with it, so I could read that under stress, trying to hurry, and all that. So, so what I was in the process of saying is that this is probably not going to be something that is going to be real exciting to watch on video. This is the kind of situation where I don't just hang out until all the police have gone because they're not even here. They're going to be in there for who knows how long doing administrative cleanup tasks of this and that paperwork, uh, grilling the person who just survived an OD experience on what they took and how they got it and from whom and what other illegal things they might have done and what information they could give them. Why are there four cops up there if that's not what's going on? Are they just interrogating this medical patient? If that's what's happening, is that they're in there, somebody just had a bad experience on drugs, a young person, most likely, right? And they're going to be in there digging for, digging for dirt. And if that's the case, well, uh, is that just aggressive police work where like, okay, they're vulnerable. We can maybe get some information that can lead us to, uh, oh, Okay, I, 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 I'm not sure if those, if those people are just housekeeping. I imagine buildings like this kind of have their own housekeeping. They're bringing uh, chemicals and bags and stuff. Is there like a cleanup? Did they... Oh! So this might have actually not been solved by Narcan. Uh, a person might have died inside there if they have a cleanup crew coming. And that, that would explain a number of officers sticking around to do paperwork and stuff. Oh, <laughs> who jumps to conclusions? I do, I do. <laughs> They're going into the other building. <laughs> oh my God, 
they have spray bottles. Someone must have died. <laughs> But it's a reasonable assumption. I mean, if that if they had been, they're parked right here with all the law enforcement, and if they had been going in there, they could also have just been doing housekeeping, and maybe this apartment just hires some random people who drive around in an unmarked car to, to clean houses and to do ho housekeeping to clean apartments. But yeah, they could be, whatever, whatever the situation is, they could be up there for a while and nobody wants to watch cars sit on a street. And you could do that just about anywhere. I bet you there's live web feeds of that from all different parts of the world. You could watch cars sit on the street in Sydney, Australia, or someplace in Italy, or uh, Namibia. What up? I need a new apartment. Own safe haven and not the dump you live in. I don't need you, cause I got high ambitions. A boss bitch vision, I'm granting all my wishes. I don't need you, cause you've been blocking me and you've had.